Hello friends, myself Ravi Shankar and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will see how we can create a JSON server fake API. So basically when uh, you are working with the front-end applications uh, using JS frameworks like Angular or JS library like React, uh, you need to integrate the UI with the APIs. So when you are trying to test your API request from the front-end, you would always need to write a complete new APIs and then uh, you would integrate with front-end right but we can uh, create some fake APIs which can help us to uh, test our uh, request from the front-end so JSON server is a node module that you can use to create demo rest JSON web service in less than a minute all you need to do is to create a JSON file with sample data so uh, we will see in this video uh, what is JSON server, how we can create uh, uh, fake APIs using JSON uh, server, how we can install JSON servers, uh, things related to it. So without getting late, let's get started. So uh, if you see this is the official JSON server uh, readme file. So uh, I will put this files link in the description, you can go through it. So first of all we will see how we can install our JSON server. So let's uh, the command for it is npm install minus g JSON server. So let's copy it from here and uh, I will open my command prompt and here let's type. So if you see here npm uh, install minus g means global so we will install this JSON server globally let's press enter it will take few seconds to install the JSON web server okay after uh, the installation is done we will uh, see how we can create a sample data uh, using this uh, JSON server okay so now this is done if you try to uh, start the JSON server you can hit this JSON server watch DV dot JSON if you directly copy this let's go to our uh, command prompt and uh, change the location to the angular project where you have created CD demo app press enter now we are at the location where my angular application is okay now we will paste the json server watch tv dot json so now let's press enter here and if you see here uh, this is loading dv dot json so now if i go to my angular project you can see that dv dot json file will be created with some sample data so let's go to our project and if you see here below there is one file db.json let's open it now if you see this uh, db.json file has some sample data right and if you go to your uh, command prompt you can see this uh, localhost 3000 uh, it will uh, have all your requests so uh, you can call uh, localhost 3000 slash post it will give you data related to post then comments then profile so let's check it so let's copy this and uh, let's go to our chrome so localhost 3000 will redirect us to uh, this page so if you can see we have here three uh, <coughs> three get APIs okay uh, let's go to db.json file here if you see we have three APIs right one for post one to comment one to have profile right if I go to chrome so if you see a uh, localhost uh, 3000 slash post it gives you uh, the post related data right now what we can do we can write our own uh, APIs also so let's go to the db.json file 
so what we can do we can add one more API to it let's add one more uh, API let's say uh, employee list okay and let's give it a type of array and it will have list of employee so this is uh, employee data now let's create multiple data for it so we will just copy and paste it let's put comma here and give id as two three name peter paris smith africa so now we have added our own customized data right as employee list if you see here and it has list of employees with different ids okay now we will go to the json server let's open the chrome now if you see and let's refresh this localhost 30 you can see there is one more api that gets created here which is employee list right if you click on it you can get the list of employees here right so this is how you can create your own uh, uh, data also now what we will do we will uh, use postman to uh, test some of our apis uh, so let's first uh, add postman as chrome extension so what how you can do that is go to chrome and write add post main to chrome you can click on it mine is already added okay uh, but once you will open it you will uh, get an option to add the extension here okay so you can add that once you have added this postman extension you can go to your apps and click on postman So here if you see you have get put post patch delete all here right so first we will call our get API so let's enter the URL as localhost 300 slash employee list click on send so now you can see here right you will get the list of employees one two and three right with the name and address so this is how you can test your uh, get API then again let's say we want to uh, add some data to uh, this list so let's say we want to add one more uh, one more employee uh, to this list so what we will do we will select post from here okay and let's go to the body let's click on this raw data select from text to json and let's add one object here let's copy this and open your postman just paste this data here let's change the id to 4 name as sam let's give address as USA and now let's try to add this data so let's add as send so if you see we have got this 201 code which is created 
now what we can do we can click on again get and try to request for it now if you see in the get API we have this fourth employee also right and create your own post API here using JSON server right now what we want we want to modify some data now let's say uh, we want uh, to change the name of the ID too okay so by mistake uh, let's say we have added the name as Peter we want to change it to Ravi so now let's select put from here and let's give it the ID for which you want a change so let's give ID as 2 and in the body let's give ID as 2 name as Ravi and uh, address is let's say USA okay now let's try to send it so you can see the status code is 200 right it means that our action has successfully done now let's again try to get all the employee list now if you see the two uh, ID 2 you can see the name and address has been changed right this is how you can use your postman to uh, write your own get put and post API let's also uh, check for the delete let's say we want to delete one of the ID which is let's say ID 3 so we will select delete from here and then give slash 3 ID as 3 and then click on send so now if you see uh, the status code is 200 and if you will try to get all the list let's click on send you can see the third ID has been deleted right so this is how you can uh, use JSON server uh, to create your own uh, get put post delete API and you can also test those API using this postman okay so this is it for this video in the next tutorial we will see how we can uh, make a request from the front end uh, by using HTTP uh, services to this API okay if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe my channel to get more updates thanks and have a nice day